I made the mess, you tied it up. Yeah. Bags, 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 bags. You can say hello to everyone. Hello. 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 So it's been quiet this week so far, hasn't it? Huh? It's been quiet this week so far. Yeah, is this a weekly vlog? Yeah, weekly vlog. Oh, hello. Hello, welcome <laughs> back to my channel. Woo! <laughs> and the hill. So we've been busy this week. We travelled back from Cornwall on, well, let me bring you down here so we can actually. Uh, we travelled back from Cornwall on Sunday. Um, and then on Monday, we're editing the uh, turkey vlog, which hopefully you've all seen. And then we've been getting ready to paint all this stuff, so today we've been painting all the, all the studio, getting it ready. The studio video went up on Sunday, hopefully. Um, and I've been doing tip runs, backs and forwards, to get rid of all the crap that was left, uh, clearing out the garden, all that kind of stuff. So it's been very quiet, but we are very, very busy, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Someone's not happy, they've got to do work. No, not like seven o'clock at night. Seven o'clock, it's half six, but... Yeah, seven. so it's almost seven o'clock at night. Almost seven o'clock. This one's going to have a really busy week, because apparently they're going to be doing a wardrobe clear out as well. Oh! Happy days! Lucky you lot. Job well done, if you ask me, huh? This one's got the most important job. This is the best job. Cleaning it all. Cleaning. I made the mess, you tied it up. Best I did way. do some painting as well. Don't make up me wrong. Think I didn't do any painting. Well, I think if people tune into the the studio conversion video, they'll see you've done most of the work. Yeah, the workmen. Well, that's very true. Why well, supervised? Well, the main main part of supervising. Is it mine? You're doing a good job cleaning, though. Thank you. I'm going to do dinner and have a shower and get this tub of paint off my face. <laughs> good times. Mm. Why are you cleaning the fairy up? Fairy washing up liquid bowl. <laughs> because it just got dirty. Yeah, you just made you make more mess. Why not? Hello and good morning everyone. Good morning just because it is half eleven. And I have been putting off starting this wardrobe clear out all morning. I've been doing some work, editing some photos. And Simon has just gone out with his mum for the day. So I've kind of been waiting for him to go out because I feel like... I need my own space and I can do a much better job when he's not here. To start off, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of what the wardrobes currently look like because we're kind of coming to the end of the summer season now and it's like breaching that kind of time where I need to do the big switch over. So I need to change all my autumn winter stuff over, switch with my spring summer. However, we have quite mild autumns and this autumn we're supposed to have a bit of an Indian summer. So I'm not really sure how much summer stuff to take out and which summer stuff to leave in because I'm still going to need a lot of it. Um, like yesterday, for example, it was boiling hot. It was like almost 30 degrees. So this is a bit of a tricky one because of the current climate. But let's have a look. So this is wardrobe number one. In here, I keep shirts, t-shirts, camis and things and then skirts on the ends and as you can see and as I've mentioned before I use my doors and any kind of vacant space just to make use of accessory storage. On the bottom it is trousers and jeans. Uh, it's looking crammed, yes it is. I mean I'm a blogger so I have a larger wardrobe than most people um, but this is this is now starting to cause me stress issues because it's too crammed and I don't like it being that crammed. So hence today's organisational session. Next wardrobe, let's have a look in here. Okay, this one is the one that needs the most organising. Uh, so here I have some blazers and then all of these are dresses. In here is skirts and shorts, but the shorter version, because the skirts in there are long ones. Bags, just crammed in. Bags, there's travel accessories at the back, bags. Bags on this door. And then an Ikea shelving unit, which you can just make out there with bags. 
bags, 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 bags. I've literally just started to run out of room with bags, so I've just been shoving them anywhere. Bags. In there are all my sweatpants and stuff. This is a small amount of knitwear, which is undoubtedly going to grow this season. And then on this area, or on this uh, door here, I've got sunglasses, which are non-branded. A little mirror because it's good for light and this is where I decide on the jewellery that I'm going to wear on a daily basis so these are all my necklaces and these are all hung by brand and then here I have these little um, wire baskets which were from H&M and they were black but I sprayed them gold and these have all my sunglasses in now I do have one more here so something on the to-do list today is to attach that one also to the inside of the door so that I've got all my sunglasses in one place and just quickly for anyone wondering what's in these top cupboards basically this is where I've just crammed stuff and also this is where my storage tubs are which are full of all of the stuff for other seasons so in there for example is lots of winter jumpers and knitwear and it's the same in that one over there as well right i have set you guys up on a tripod because in a moment i am going to film a time lapse of the first stage of doing my wardrobe so if you've seen one of these videos before you will know that the first thing that i do when i start to do a wardrobe clearer or a wardrobe reorganize is i take everything out of my wardrobes and this is the most daunting step ever okay now wardrobe number one is empty i'm gonna leave the bags and hats in there for a moment just because they're kind of not offensive and they don't need any organizing as such just yet but on here <laughs> here is the entire contents of the first half of the wardrobe um so Obviously I haven't got enough space to empty the contents of wardrobe number two on here as well. So I'm going to do them one by one. Um, but basically the next stage of this is to go through everything and start putting it back. And this is where I start to filter through what's staying and what's going. And then also what is going into storage for maybe next season. Or for if we go away on a holiday or a travel trip or something. So side number one has been decluttered now i know that this probably doesn't look like i've cleared that much out but i had no spare hangers when i started this and now i have all of those so i have actually cleared quite a lot of stuff out i have a big pile up here this is my kind of vacation holiday pile that's going to go in a tub because this is the kind of stuff which i can't really wear in the uk um, so that's going to go in a tub. These jeans I need to try on because I'm unsure if they still fit me, but they're Levi's and I love them so much. And then this is my going pile. So, so far that's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to make a start on wardrobe number two and I think this one is the one that needs the most work. Right, now everything is out of that wardrobe and all slung on the bed. I'm going to start to go through that and cleanse it all. I have just cleansed these sunglasses, got rid of four pairs of sunglasses on the top. Not bad going because I do have quite an addiction to sunglasses. Um, now... The blazers which were in this half of the wardrobe, that is not my entire blazer collection because you guys know I am quite a fiend for blazers. Um, so I may well put away some of my really, really summery blazers and bring out some of my more autumn winter blazers because I feel like today especially, it's really grim outside. Today is a blazer day. So blazer days are becoming increasingly more frequent as we come into autumn. So I think that's what I might do. It has got very dark and gloomy outside. I know that won't look like that on camera because I have brightened it, but it is, it is grim. Uh, anyway, right, wardrobe number two is now done. I did bring in some of my other blazers to pop in here. I've still got a few summer dresses and jumpsuits. Just a little bit of colour still in here in case we get some nice weather still. Uh, jumpers, I just have three, so gonna need to build on that collection slightly. A few sort of non-branded or non-designer bags here. Designer bags all up at the top and then always this is where I keep my travel stuff back there. So I've got travel cubes, travel steamer and this is my jewellery travel bag. 
and then designer bags in dust bags up there. I've left a space here, that's for my new Stella McCartney tote bag. On the door, I have kept like my reusable shopping bags, which are these and these net ones. So I always keep them there so that when I go to grab a handbag, I grab one of them in case I do any shopping. These bags have all stayed the same. I've done nothing with them. They've remained pretty organized. This tub, in case anyone's wondering, has got things like lint brushes, lint rollers, shoe stretchers, all that kind of stuff in there. And then as you'll notice, I have got two spare, well, three technically spare spaces here. Now those will eventually fill to the brim with knitwear, but right now, as it's the beginning of the season, they are empty, and so this pleases me greatly. This is my pile, it has grown massively. My pile of summer wares, which need to go in some sort of tub, and then over there, the rather ginormous pile of stuff to go away. Um, oh, and I just moved some handbags there as well, because I did a bit of a handbag declutter. So here, I've got some hats and a basket, and then my Loewe basket and a couple of other bags there as well, just to make sure that I'm utilizing all of my space. Now, some of you have asked me before how I decide what stays and what goes. So I have a few classic items, and if they're still in good condition, like basic t-shirts, basic shirts, linen shirts, that kind of thing, things without prints on them, things which are not trend orientated, um, if they're in good condition, they immediately stay, so long as they fit as well. Um, I often try on a lot of things throughout the week, each week, just because I style a lot of outfits. I obviously do lots of blog posts and lots of YouTube content and Instagram and stuff. Um, and I do like to change outfits, like if I'm doing something different in one day, I'll change my outfit. I just like fashion, so it's what I do. Um, so I probably wear more clothes than a lot of people do, but that means I try on more stuff. If something doesn't fit, I immediately eradicate it. So it's not a case of stuff that in my wardrobe has accumulated because it doesn't fit, apart from those two pairs of Levi's jeans, which I'm not sure why I haven't tried them on in ages, but I think that probably means they need to go. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. I just kind of look at everything, the classic stuff stays, anything that I think I'm going to wear, anything that I'm loving right now will stay, anything that I haven't worn in let's say the last two months immediately goes, unless it's something which could be holiday wear, in which case it's gone in that big pile behind me. Hello, are you coming to help? Hello, hello. Did you make it in alive through all of the stuff? Oh, are you going to bed? You got bedtime, Teddy? You can't get up there. <laughs> right, I had a brief break for lunch and then I actually cleared out my shoes, but I forgot to show you guys. So I'm gonna show you what I did now. Oh, if I can get up. Right, shoes are looking very cleansed, aren't they? So these are actually all of the shoes which are going, including these up here. And then this is what I have been left with. All of my classics. And I've got plenty of space here as well because I do have other winter boots in storage, but I've tried to refine everything to just my sort of classic must-haves. And now I've just started to get to that point where I'm losing the will to live because the actual organising and eradicating old and unused stuff in the wardrobes is the easiest bit. It's now a case of sorting and organising and finding a place for all the stuff which is going because there is a lot of stuff which I need to sell. I've got a few pairs of designer shoes here um, and yeah I've got no idea where I'm going to put them. It is now five past four and I have just, I was going to say finished, I haven't fully finished but I finished for the day because my back is killing me because I've been hunched over like a little Quasimodo for most of the day. Um, so I'm going to show you the finished result, or the finished result in terms of the wardrobes anyway. Okay, so in here we have got designer handbags along the top. These are the sweaters, some bags. I needed more room for my new Stella, so I've had to move that Melly Mello bag back there. I have just dumped my swimwear on there, so I need to get a storage tub for that. Um, 
blazers and a few dresses, a nice array. You'll notice I actually took the green one out, that has gone. Um, on here nothing has changed but I just sort of decluttered a bit and then I got Simon to add in my third basket. All these bags are still the same, none of those have been detoxed. And on here this is the same as what I showed you guys earlier, it's just had a bit of a cleanse. So that makes me feel very happy indeed. Now let's look in this one. Right, now I'm going to have a little sit down. <laughs> Okay, so up on the top level we've got shirts and then sleeveless tops and then all of my t-shirts grouped together on the end. I know some people will say, why don't you fold your t-shirts? I like to have as much as humanly possible hung because it's easier to sift through and easier to see. And then on the end there, those are my midi skirts. Down on the bottom, the trousers and jeans selection has been narrowed right down. This is probably the fewest amount of jeans I've ever had in my life. Um, and then over there, those are my shorts and skirts, which I've decided to keep out. Um, but I realised I have no clippy hangers because they were over in the other, in here before, but I thought it was better to have them in here got no clippy hangers so what I've ordered off Amazon is little black flocked clips that sit on here so that's why I've got the hangers above and those so that when they arrive they can just be clipped and hung on the door still got some summer bags hats these I actually keep out for winter as well yeah so let's pan back and just take in all of my hard work shall we oh Yes, that looks very satisfactory indeed. <sighs> so now I'm knackered. I'm going to go hop in the shower and get refreshed and then I'm going to chill out for the evening. And then tomorrow, maybe going to start taking pictures of some of the stuff to sell. Um, I've put the bags of stuff which is going to charity downstairs. There's actually not many, there's three bags. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you, I also cleared out my pyjama drawer and my underwear drawer, which I'm not going to show you because you guys don't want to see all my old pants. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've cleared that out massively and now that looks really streamlined as well. Um, now this hasn't been my biggest clear out. It, it's definitely not been because there's been times where I've had about 10 bin bags full of stuff that's gone to charity. Um, but this has been quite a poignant clear out because when we... Obviously, you know the video before Simon and I went away and then we went away and I just, going away felt so zen and calming and it cleared my head. Um, so this was actually another kind of part of getting my head straight and in a good place. I do love a good organisational session and it's almost just sort of stripping back everything and then starting something fresh, which I know is a little bit deep for a wardrobe clear out, but if you know, you know. Good afternoon. Yes, it's afternoon, guys. It's now Friday. Oh! And don't judge, but we have been out in the studio just finishing. Oh, that's bright, sorry. Just finishing off this morning. I'm not going to sit on the bed because I am so gross. I'm so dirty. Um, yeah, I've been finishing off the studio and now I'm out of breath. <laughs> I've just been putting all the furniture and the props and stuff in there. We kind of feel like we need a few bits more. So we're going to go to Lakeside because there's Ikea, HomeSense, H&M Home, all that stuff. Um, but I'm not going to shower because it's a Friday leading into a bank holiday weekend. So to get from our house to uh, Lakeside, it is going to be crazy in terms of traffic on a Friday bank holiday weekend. So we're literally just gonna get dressed real quick and go. Okay, that was a speedy change. I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I'm wearing. Redone t-shirt, Cinco Matilda necklace. I have not got a bag. I have just got my Cezanne reusable shopping bag. Jeans are from Redone. Excuse the fact that they're undone by two buttons, but I just ate the biggest pit of bread known to womankind. And I'm gonna be sat in the car, so I need belly room uh, and then these are my ash dad trainers right we made it to lakeside and so far we've got 
two cushions. Oh, we didn't buy the cushions. All right, we got two cushion cases. We completely forgot the cushions. That's all right, we can get them in Ikea. We are off to Ikea now. We've also got two rugs. Yes, two. And we bought two soaps. Step away from the rugs. We already have about 10 for one room. Could open up our own Ikea of rugs. Step away, no more. We are back from Ikea and I am in the studio. I've just been playing around with everything, setting it all up, making it all nice and pretty. And then we had to film the end of the studio video, which as Simon has been saying throughout this vlog, you can watch on the channel. Um, now I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of where some stuff is from because I realized that we did not do that in the studio video. So I'm gonna do this really, really quickly before I sign off from this week's vlog. Right, this little setup here. Okay, what have we got? This basket is from Ikea. This little, this apparently is a stool, but it's like a woven rattan raffia thing. That is also from Ikea. Ikea, Ikea, <laughs> these are fake, I'm so sorry, but I cannot get eucalyptus leaves anywhere. I think they're out of season. Um, these cushion covers are from H&M Home and they're like beige and cream. Over here, it's one of the Aldi outdoor diptyque rip-off candles. Um, this is also Ikea, it's the matching thing to that. Under there or back there, we've got a little basket with a plant in that is also Ikea. This rug, which lots of you were going crazy for on my Instagram stories, that was from HomeSense, which is where all the other rugs were from as well. This dog bed was also very popular on my Insta stories. This was from TK Maxx and it is beautiful. It perfectly suits all the color scheme and stuff. Um, and it did also come in a few other prints and colors. And then we've got a little wooden doggy bowl here, which has actually got a dead mealy bug in it, which is lovely. <laughs> so we'll have to remove that. That was also from TK Maxx. And then this here is a little plant stand, but we're just gonna use it as prop storage. That's also Ikea. There's a lot of Ikea. I promise we are not sponsored by Ikea. Um, this basket is H&M, H&M, Ikea, H&M. Uh, and then finally these frames, which standard, I'm gonna put some Decenio prints in. Those are also Ikea and then one Last rug, which is kind of like natural raffia effect. That one is from H&M Home. Right, so that is it from me for this week. I'm actually gonna be spending the entire weekend probably in here taking pictures of stuff to list on Depop. So I will pop my Depop name down below. We might have already put that throughout the video, just in case you wanna have a look at anything that I'm selling from my big wardrobe clear out. And yes, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys on maybe Thursday, but definitely Sunday. Bye.